Hello everyone. Happy New Year once again. This is uh, our second video on stone wall formations. Now we're going to discuss a game from 1946 in Leningrad between the young Tigran Petrosian who would go on to be world champion from 1963 until he was dethroned in 1969 by Boris Spassky and with the black pieces uh, Victor Korchnoi who is probably the uh, greatest player never to become world champion and is still active today at a ripe old age game started off d4 e6 knight of 3 f5 and just briefly I would like to say something about e6 uh, only play e6 if you're prepared to go into the French defense because your opponent can just play e4 so if you don't mind playing the French defense as black by all means uh, play e6 because the benefits of e6 is that it avoids some anti uh, Dutch systems that can occur after early f5 but that goes beyond the scope of our lesson so f5 g3 knight f6 bishop g2 d5 there's our stone wall set up castle Bishop d6 as opposed to Bishop e7 c4 c6 course no excuse me c6 b3 and now we're going to see an implementation of uh, a different plan than in part one and here after 7b3 Petrosian's idea is to trade off black's good bishop his dark square bishop and leave him saddled with the bad white bishop and this is one of the several plans in the Dutch so get the castles bishop takes excuse me bishop uh, a3 bishop takes a3 Knight takes a3 and queen e8. So, with this move, of course, Noy is signaling that he will be playing on the king's side for an attack. Knight c2. Knight comes back into play. Queen h5. Queen c1. Knight e4, Knight c e1, and now you might be able to see White's plan, which is to bring the Knight c1, e1 up to uh, d3, and dominate and control the e5 square. G5. Of course, Noy continues with his plan. Knight d3. d7 knight fe5 and already at move 14 uh, white is already considerably better here uh, he's taken away a major attacking piece from black and his dark square bishop uh, black's a8 rook is out of the game and his uh, light square bishop is horrible and uh he's trying to attack on the king side but he really has no no basis to attack there's really no uh, uh, viable threats here he plays king h8 which uh, seems like a waste of time here probably knight e f6 seems a little better King 
H8, F3. Petrosian just boots out the uh, knight on E4. D6. E4 is played. Now if you compare this to uh, part 1, you'll see that E4 was uh, was uh, um, played by uh, both players with the white pieces. Uh, the only difference is you see that uh, the dark square bishops are gone. And you'll see that a lot in this opening as you'll see the combination of plans. Sometimes uh, white will play e4, but it'll try to dominate e5 square also, or play on the queen side, and also play for e4. So here you see uh, several different plans uh, in this one game. One, white wanted to trade off his bishop, star square bishop for black star square bishop, which he did. You see the knights occupying e5 and d3, and also you see e4 achieved. So white has a very comfortable game. Uh, here black is kind of stuck. Um, he's trying for a kingside attack, but uh, it really has no future. But unfortunately, he's committed to it, and that's the only plan that's really available here but unfortunately it's a bad plan so after uh, knight f7 Trojan is almost winning here practically this trades off judiciously f4 Trojan didn't even have to play that, but he just stamps out any hope of any kind of uh, attacking possibilities that uh, Coach Noy might have. And now you can see uh, what happens uh, when White's King's, when, excuse me, when Black's King side doesn't uh, succeed. Here he is saddled with all kind of pawn weakness. Uh, you just compare the pawn structures. You have black with the weak pawn that will surely be captured on d5. Advance f pawn, which is on a white square and trapping in the uh, light square bishop. g5 pawn is advanced. And white's pawn structure is pristine. He has a pass pawn. A uh, great piece placement. And uh, he's on his way. He's rolling right now. This is a model game for white to play against the stone wall. So rook d8, queen c7, d6. Of course, you know, is just trying to wiggle out and do something. F takes d5. And the idea behind that is just so uh, Trojan can bring his knight in, in there. Bishop a6. Knight f4, and here, uh, of course, Noy had enough and resigned. Uh, he's totally lost after this move because after uh, Queen takes g5, Black, excuse me, White can play the Queen takes f7 here. And be uh, quite comfortable just giving up the exchange. And uh, with the totally dominating position. So, this is just one more example of how of another plan that white often implements and of course black had many improvements but I just wanted to show you this plan with bishop a3 
So thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. See you on the next video.